Hello everyone. In the previous video, we generated our access token. So now the time is to call our API. So there is mention that how you can call the API. So first you need to fill these authorization header, right? So let me go to the postman and here we are going to use a collection, right? So we are going to use this for customer so that's why i'm creating a folder inside this so what is the folder name so i'm going to name this uh, customer customers hit enter and yes now it's saved and here i'm going to first get the customer so there is no customer in the zoho so here let me create a new request for create right so we are going to first create the customer and then we are going to get the customer so then uh, let me make this a post request because we are going to use this uh, we are going to uh, submitting something so that's why we are going to use this post method right so first we need to fill this authorization headers so how we can set these headers so here you need to uh, go to this header and uh, then you need to enter this uh, header so our header is authorization and value would be this one zoho access token type uh, you need to type this one and then you need to give it uh, give it a space and then type your token so we pasted this uh, token in our sublime so let me get this from there okay so paste it here and now our authorization is ready so what is the next step so next step we need to we read this uh, from top of the documentation that we need to fill this authorization organization id so you need to satisfy these two headers right so you need to type this here and then here you need to type your organization id so where it is located so it's located in this browser so here we uh, logged in as our uh, an account like we sign in so we uh, click on our profile and we are getting this organization id here so you can copy it from there and go back and enter this value so now our two headers are satisfied so we fill the requirements so now the time is to enter the url so we are going to interact with the customer so let's click on this customer and in the customer we are going to create the customer so let's click on this create and yes we enter this create customer and now the time is to fill these params so what are the params which are required for this one so first we need to get the url so which url we need to hit this one so you need to hit this http subscription dot customer so this is used for to create a client so we are going to post using this post request we already did this and we mentioned this here like we are using this post one and then we satisfied this organization id content type you can enter this content type but by default it's set as application json okay and we also set this header and then we are going to pass this display name and we are going to just filled up the required param so what are the required param for creating a customer so required params are this one display name and then email that's it so you don't need to do anything so these are only two one others are optional so let's go here we enter this we enter the header so now let's click on this body and click on this url encoded and here you need to fill uh, pass your param so let me copy this for to avoiding the mistake and here i'm going to pass my name here so my name is the ethniazi and then you need to type email because our second param would be an email so let's enter gmail.com and now i need to send this request our headers are set right our request is post we set this url and we set this our param so now the time is to submit this request so let me check the video size now it's not going bigger so let's click on this send and what it's returning so wait for a moment and it's returning that code json is not well formed hmm. So it's uh, replying us that JSON is not well formed. It means that we are doing some mistake. So what is the mistake? So let me find this. So we are using this headers, 
token is good our organization id is good so we are using display name so let me check that is there any required params it's uh, required params tags and stuff like that okay 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 it's optional stuff optional required for texting not for this one and wait for a moment and no others uh, these are only two ones the first one is display name and second one is email so our response is good why it's not creating this one so let me fix this and i will come back okay so i find the issue that what is the issue so basically we are sending our request to the server and we are sending the post request and it's returning json is not valid form so we need to send a valid json we are sending the valid json but i don't know why it's not working for us so we are going to use another way so what is the way so we need to create a new uh, create a request and we are going to send this as this parameter which is defined in the zoho documentation so let's go here and click on this uh, import and here we are going to use this raw text and we are going to copy this stuff from this curl you don't need to copy the dollar sign remember and then you need to copy this all of the stuff and make this after this and here so paste it there and there i'm going to use these two params right so let me remove some other params so uh, i'm going to just uh, remove other params so i'm going to use the only email and then customer display name right so let me remove the other params these params okay so we added these params already so i'm not going to add them once again so let me update them so we are not going to get any error so let's click on this import and i'm going to import this import the header value so let me uh, copy these from my request so i'm going to copy them from there and uh, pass this to this uh, request so this one is uh, this header and let me go back and copy this organization id so let me remove this uh, refresh token so go here and here you need to type your organization id and uh, our uh, this one is now displaying display name and email so now it's going to create uh, this user so let me pass my name and then i'm going to create it myself so dayat niazi and then i'm going to make this uh, hadi niazi 8009 at the rate of gmail.com so this is my official email so you can use this email for contacting me okay so now i'm going to send this so we are going to use the post request so let's click on this send and wait for a moment and yes now it's returning us customer has been added so customer name is Tayat Niazi and customer id is this one so we are successfully able to create the customer in the zoho so let's go here and give it a refresh so this customer will be there so wait for a moment and it's reloading the web page and 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 yes our customer is there so we created the ethniazi and this is the email address so you can view all of the uh, in detail so congratulations so we successfully did this so you need to pass this uh, uh, you can pass this uh, from this uh, form but this is not going to work so you can pass this from this uh, raw data right or you can also import this from this way so this is uh, this is by default going to pass this in the raw section so you don't need to manually enter this so we successfully created our customer so in the next video we are going to fetch all the customers so i will meet you in the next one bye, -bye.